Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the rundown today. Uh, today, with again with our panelists, uh, villainous styles. We're back. And speaking of villainous styles, let's get started with something we talked about two weeks ago during the Ken Luke Jamar thing. Today's a normal episode. We're going to do a brief recap on the pre past two weeks, and then we're going to get into the normal weekly weekly rundown stuff. But first. <laughs> Just a base boys loser with his basic bitch lyrics. Broken hearted boo who and lament and don't want to hear it. The brick ball lobby steady jinx and all his teams trying to get into the jeans. The little girls in their teens always bashing black ladies and his fashion that's crazy. Talking shit about people's spouses while he out here hiding babies. But loving no, on his mama. That his child looks perpetually surprised. Father, if it's all right. for nothing. For the life of me, I don't know why you stand in the guy. Got less personality than an open can of Canada drop. Don't need to ruffle no feathers. I know it's certainly rude. But a grown man perping on 11 when she 13. Ugh. Fire your ghost writers. What they telling you, nigga? Cause us light skins is not gonna hold the L for you, nigga. And before I go, I need you to make this abundantly clear. The story you added on should have killed your career. Really? Good shit. Very good shit. Very good shit. Even though TikTok was being a whiny little bitch about no, it. No, TikTok was being a whole hoe about this. Yeah, like, so when I put it up, they give they send me a um they send me a notification says because it was not like it was just like me being like static images and nothing, nothing was moving or whatever the shit was, mm -hmm. they couldn't push it to FYP. What the fuck? So, uh, so, so like, you and, just had the static photos still with you in the back eating or no? Yeah, like, the what you saw was what I put up. And they said they couldn't push it to the FYP. And I'm just like, y'all don't see me just standing there eating banana bread, drinking almond milk as What's all that? these people. Go ahead. Sorry. Like, like it was just, like, the biggest, the biggest fuck you TikTok could have ever given me. How and did it like, do on YouTube? Well, I'm still getting comments from it. Like, I mean, Are it was it go? did decent. It was it did decent, but you know, I had one hating ass motherfucker. who was like, it wasn't all that good. I'm just like, okay. Eh. And then somebody, and Get then somebody came up like that motherfucker. Right? No, somebody actually got up underneath him and was like, yeah, well, it's better than what you put out. Oh, you didn't put out anything. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. So. So let's just, just for posterity, let's get, before we go into like talking about the last week or so or two, let's quickly recap what has transpired uh, since uh, the last, or la since the uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar Drake special. Literally oh. the day after or two days after I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was, I was mainly talking about what happened with the beef, but yes, Brian did get a job. And I tried Ritalin for the first time today. That was an interesting experience. But I digress. Um, the uh, apparently Nothing. it's been quiet. Has so, it? Uh, well, so as so, far as nah, far as as far as like as far song as Drake drops, and Kendrick and song. No, so Drake is kind of like losing his shit a little bit. So, uh, please let me. Uh, please fill me. Uh, please fill in the gaps for my father recount. I know I'm going to miss some stuff. Um. Mm -hmm. There was a shooting at Drake's house, uh, mm -hmm. where apparently uh, the weekend's crew was sort of implicated in that. Um, and then, and somebody was shot, uh, one of his Drake security guards. And then it comes out later that so like if people are losing the shit. Oh my God, OVO and the weekend are at war and shit. Blah 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 blah. Um, and then it the comes weekend, out. Go make Idol season two. He can't, but go do that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. No, nobody, nobody does. wants that. But if they but, got uh, Velma season two, they could do it with the idol. Dear God. Anywho, um, but apparently, um, it was all a setup. Um, nobody like it, like it was actually all fake. Nobody actually shot at Drake's shit. The Toronto police uh, verified. Um, and now uh, Drake has moved his son overseas, uh, to live with his mom. With his mom. They pulled a Michael Corleone, um, and and Drake is 
has sold most of his American properties. He has one left in 90210. Why the fuck would he keep it in California? That's crazy. They love I mean, going after rich douchebags, dude. They love going after rich black people. I'm just and saying. But on, that's but on the Kendrick side of Right. And on the Kendrick side of things, Not Like Us has undone a lot of Spotify records that Drake has set. So in the past week and a half, Not Like Us became the fastest and biggest growing streaming uh, single for a rap for a rapper in history. I do just also want to add there were a few more uh, intruder attempts at Drake's property. I think it was like two or three total. Probably, mm -hmm. I think it was a vandalism. Mm. People, people like one of the stores. Yeah, um, I think there outside of that, there are some just a couple other bad PR things on Drake's side. Uh, there is a TikToker slash YouTuber who was like reacting and breaking down his Drake's lyrics and stuff, and he was sent a cease and desist. Like not just like yeah. a, a not just like a copyright takedown, but like just a straight up like OVO sent him with their lawyers a legit thing. Stop pointing out that Drake keeps talk talking about him wanting to R. Kelly girls and shit. Um, yeah. there was uh um. The fact that I forget the name of the rapper, but like Drake paid like a rapper like quarter million dollars to get some beef on Drake, and the motherfucker was like, <laughs> "Here's a bunch of fake shit," um, and ran with the money, which is exactly what I would do in this situation, and I probably end up giving Drake Kendrick a kickback for the for the courtesy. Um, oh, oh, the wild thing about that rapper is he wrote for Drake. That's funny. It was Drake's he, he was one of, one of he was one of he was one of, he was one of the twenty. <laughs> the ops are calling from inside the house. Literally. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But I'm gonna be honest. If we spend another second talking about Kendrick or Drake, I am going to eat some gravel. That's what's That's fair. Happen. The last thing I want to say is is that <laughs> King Yanalias, who wrote the uh BBL Drizzy that Metro Boomin sampled from, his shit got taken off Spotify too. Which was Damn. wild. Yep. It's yes. so wild. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Warner Brothers was working overtime. Yeah. But. Yeah. Oh, you want to I, Something I wanted to discuss. Go for it. Have you guys seen that Diddy video? Yes. I, I saw have, it yesterday and I was I ha pissed. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Please inform me. Okay. Go ahead. May, may I? Of course. Go right ahead. <laughs> okay. So when Cassie brought up that the lawsuit right. earlier this year about the abuse that she went through with Diddy, one right. of the instances that she uh, brought up was the fact that she was trying to leave a hotel room. Diddy came out, hit her well, in the head so hard. Real quick. Diddy was drunk asleep in the hotel room. Cassie yeah. sneaks out into the hallway. Go ahead. Oh fuck! So, she so, so as she's waiting on the elevator, Diddy comes sprinting down the hall, wrapped in a towel, and goes on the side of Cassie's head, knocks her down, knocks her out. This is the man. That, just to reiterate for everybody listening, this is the guy who's so obsessedly in love, allegedly, with this woman. He has hanged grown ass men by their ankles over three story buildings. Yes, for for talking to them in passing. Yes. Not also, even. She has not even blown up cars. Also, yeah. the same dude who made "I'm Coming Home." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, like, the same man that made the about. Love album. No, for real, this motherfucker produced for Biggie. <laughs> Wasn't Diggy like Biggie like married and shit? Uh no, what? I don't. I don't think he was married. I think he had a baby mama, but I don't think he, he had. Was he had a baby mama, and he his girlfriend was uh, Faith Evans, and his you know side piece was Lil Kim. We, we but yeah, I don't think this is YouTubeable. Meaning the video, we're not going to react to it. But it's a horrible rocking video. 
And her husband, I think, said everything perfectly. Real men do not attack women, do not put hands on women, do not even think about it. And don't get me wrong, I'm a rageful little fuck. But there is one boundary that I will never cross, and that's putting hands on a woman for any fucking reason. Like, no Max, ifs, ands, or buts. I'm just going to defend myself, meaning that I'm I'm going to get away from you. I'm going to push you away. Oh, and yeah. Be like, oh, yeah. Hey, no. Brian is safe. Brian has a. I ain't fighting nobody. <laughs> his lid for anger is so much shorter than mine, and his in his ability to just reach heights of, of decibel and anger at, like, for. Mm-hmm. However, like how, like it would justify, like it's insane. But he, but I can infer he doesn't put his hands on. Here, like yeah, I'm, 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 I walk what? out. Like I've walked. You, you out have to. You, you have. You have. You have to. You cannot put your hands on another human being. Period. You no, cannot. You can't. I don't care how angry you are. I like. I like. Like I have to. I'm not gonna say that. Um, I, I, I. Let's just say that uh, when. My, when someone in my life has is to uh, interact with certain members of their family, that I have to carry myself in a way that I that I know that if I do something different, it's not going to end well for anybody. <laughs> so I will also like to add that as of yesterday, the LAPD. Has said, although we've seen the video, although we've known that this has happened, unfortunately, it is outside the statute of limit statute of limitations, which was three years from the incident. Three years. Yeah, I think it took place what 2016 or 2018? 2016. 2016. That is yep. insane. So they said yeah. we we have all the evidence. No ifs, ands, or buts who it is. No ifs, ands, or buts who the victim is. But because it happened a little too long ago, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yo, sh- you'd, be, you'd be amazed how much sexual assault and harassment cases get thrown under the rug because of statute of limitations. I, the I'll only thing that, that doesn't have statute of limitations is murder. Apologies. I just want to say 20, this. 20 years. I just want to say sexual assault shouldn't have a statute of limitations on it. I agree. Nope. <laughs> like, like I would say that specific, like, if specifically said, like, if you, like, here's the thing: if I, if I sucker punch you, and like, fucking, if I sucker punch you because you, like, if, like, you said something slick to me, and and when I was young and stupid, and I sucker punch you at like eighteen, and you come after me at like forty five, that's kind, of, that's like, what the fuck, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, but like. You know, sexual assault is is just people live with that for the rest of their lives. It's the it's. I don't give a shit. Like that that needs to that needs but, to not have a statute of limitations. I'll I'll say this though. I'll say this though. It Regardless of, I think I said I think I said needs to have. I said needs to not have. My bad. It's just a yeah. So regardless if this if Diddy gets charged for it or not, which he won't, it no, still he looks very very bad for him. Oh, we're and, past look. No, no, no. See, very quickly, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this this is what I wanted to say. In every other high-value case, right, uh, I'm just going to throw out the ones that I can fucking remember, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby. I know that's not exactly the same realm, but there was no physical evidence that showed what actually happened. It was always yeah. testimony. You mm-hmm. have evidence recorded evidence of this motherfucker brutalizing women Uh, a woman but we know it goes further than just one so here's the thing i think this is the time this is like the r kelly moment right this is where people are either going to be okay with the fact that he pissed on a girl or the fact that that's too far for people but this this is in 2000 this is in 2004 no like yeah but 2024 i'm still seeing comments about how they want to try and take a black man down so that's yeah, but, why but I'm you, saying well, I'm and on top of that, <laughs> no, and on top of that they're asking what did cassie do being, you can't blame men for being fucking stupid uh, uh, women too because they were also the ones saying it why uh, you can't blame I, saw, I did see one girl like me what did cassie for do? being you can't no, for blame real. men and for being fucking stupid now, now no, don't, I know. Like, I 
like, here's my thing. Like, I... I, like, like, I, my, my partner sometimes says, in her own anger, some heinous shit to me. But you know what? Like, not, never, in a million years, did, would I think about running half naked down a hallway to, to sock her in retaliation for that, let alone put her, my hands on her at all in the first place. And kick her on the ground while she was on the floor. Yeah, like he did that twice and then dragged her back into the room. Oh, I hate yes, that. not a good video. <laughs> I don't I don't think here's the thing. I don't think there is anyone at present short of red pill manosphere morons and pygmies who are is actually pressed about did he go into prison for this shit? Oh yeah, no, that's not what I was trying to claim. Aiden I Ross was just is saying, gonna bitch about it on his stream. Andrew I was just is going the... to make some kind of like bullshit Twitter rant. You know, per, like just pearly things is going to like 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 victim blame Cassie. We all know this is what's gonna mm -hmm. happen. But yep. pragmatically, this isn't 04 anymore. You know, if R Ke like there's a reason R. Kelly went to fucking prison. But took, there was also... It took 15 years longer than it should have. But Evan, alternatively, there is that... Uh, I don't even want to say strictly black, but like celebrity association. That uh, regardless of what he may or may not have done, he is still going to be idolized in the eyes of idiots, right? And Absolutely. I'm just saying... But who idolizes R. Is, Kelly in today's day and age? I'm not saying I mean, that there I, are... I'm I'm not saying that there aren't going to be people that idolize Diddy, but A, Diddy was not as big as R. Kelly. You're right. And R. Kelly ha like like what 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 has happened with this is, is that there is now a clock on Diddy's relevancy. Just like how the the, the clock on Suge Knight's just like how like Suge Knight going to prison and, and getting nailed and all that shit was, started the clock on his relevancy. And now... I think we're, very quickly, I think we're traveling to a uh, uh, conversation that I wasn't trying... All I was trying to say with all, the comments all, all, was... All, 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 all I'm just saying very, go for it, go Let me just finish. It's just, I don't understand why being provocative on something like this is the thing people choose. That's uh, what I mean. Internet, in, internet, internet points. No, I... Internet not. points. Uh, but I'm saying there, there's a million different things you could be provocative on that wouldn't, uh, you know, possibly call your employer into question, your life into question, all these things. That's all I'm saying. That's all. But then I also want to talk about, because for my fellow Apple users, my fellow iPhone users, it's been <laughs> a very cold day in hell for a very, very long time. And yes, it has. Finally. <laughs> shut up, Evan. Finally. <laughs> we have <laughs> discovered, we have gained access to a thing called an emulator. Now, if you're like me and you look at retro gaming, I'm talking about Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Color. All the way to the NES and the SNES. Okay? If you look at those times and you say, I wish on my big flat screen TV, one day I could just play, I don't know, uh, Super Mario Bros, or Pokemon Emerald, or Pokemon Coliseum, you name it, my boy, you name it, you name it. Go in the and comment. And relay. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. And so it's not my fault that Apple take that Apple implements features that Samsung has had for at least four years. By the time y'all get it, can we y'all talk we about me see? interrupting? <laughs> but can we not enjoy this though? Can we? It has been no, no. I want to be very cool. clear. We I'm busting y'all's chops. I'm happy y'all guys have access to this. I'm happy y'all. Listen, I'm all for so more let people me, playing. Let me just stuff. tell go the fans, it. Delta. If you go into the App Store and you download Delta, I'm going to be very honest, I don't know a good emulator site for all the ROM hacks. That you're going to have to figure out yourself. Vim's Lair got I nailed. I have a plug. 
N- n- we, okay. and, we, and we're not Vim's layer got nailed it's not good anymore There's, just look around on reddit look around on stuff you'll find some people who will drop some stuff just do yourself a favor when you do find a good rom site don't blow that shit up He's not. but, but you, let your homies know let, let your home but like you got keep it under wraps because the more people that know about it the more shit it's gonna be I got a plug who knows all the good shit and I asked him for his recommendations because he's one of those deep web tour crawling motherfuckers. I but, will say if you, if you want to do it the legitimate way, there's a fifty dollar thing that takes your Game Boy cartridges, turns them into actual ROMs, and then you can fucking put that shit on the phone through your computer if you want to go the full Yo. legitimate way. But you do have to own the oh. fucking games and know where they are. Hoist the colors high. Evil thieves and beggars never shall we die. And that's all I'm going to say about that. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, can I have a topic? I have a topic. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, your floor is yours. It's because. As an educator, as someone who has worked in education for the majority of his professional career, um, one of the biggest things that has been going around this week was, if you have been on TikTok, if you have known about this, there is a male teacher who recently got fired because he decided to go live and have several of his eighth grade students unbraid his hair on live. Now, why is this such a big thing? Um, I don't know. Let's just take a let's take a look. At, let's take a look at things. If you have a social media outlet that is monetized and you are getting money from this, and you are putting somebody else's children on this live, doing something as intimate, it may it may not seem like it's it may seem like it's innocent, like doing somebody else's hair. This is a grown man. These are children under the age of 18. That aren't his. These are, these are children that have to sign a waiver to their school in case they have in case their pictures or videos are taken for anything for the school's purpose. This man is not under that that waiver. His social media is not under that waiver. But the problem is shortly after he gets fired for this, he had His students send him text messages. I'll say that again. These are eighth grade kids sending him text messages. They have his phone number. Mm. Calling him bestie. Okay. Very, very quickly. Here's what Mm -hmm. I want to say. In this Mm -hmm. day and age, 2024, I don't have a child. I'm 24 years old. I don't have no kid. I have no stake in the game currently, right? Mm -hmm. Do you not, because I remember being in high school, having at least a group chat with my teacher in every single one of my classes. So I could text my teacher at any point, but other students would see whatever I said. So even if I said, I think if it just stopped at bestie, that sure, yeah, it's a little weird. I'm not going to sit here and say that I want my child texting their teacher uh, bestie and anything else like that. Mm-hmm. But I disagree a little bit with your position here. I agree with the sentiment that they needed to sign a waiver for being on live and shit like that. My thing is, and especially because I saw comments in the, on, under the initial video, mm-hmm. if he was a woman and didn't record it, this would never be an issue. Because there are plenty of black black women teachers who have right. let students fuck with their hair, take braids out, put braids in. She puts braids in, takes braids out of the children. So mm-hmm. where are we drawing the line? Can I, can, may, I draw may, the line. May, may I say something real quick? Of course. Um, Go ahead. And it just... I think that each one of these issues the issue of being on a live stream the issue of the issue of them live streaming it the issue of the group chats and the issues of the kids uh uh do like redoing his 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 braids and shit 
are are individually okay in a vacuum. And here's what I mean. To Brian's point, group chat with your students makes sense to me. Granted, that's a little past. Like, granted, I'm a little older than Brian. I graduated about, I, I, well, we may be two years apart. I graduated. I was a senior while he, I think, was a sophomore, or, like freshman or, or sophomore. My parents what? were... My parents were stupid. I thought I was 2015. Listen, I'm older than yeah. both of you. I <laughs> yeah. So so he. But, so, I, so, but I have, but I'll have a point when you finish yours. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah. My parents were stupid and thought I was smart at three and put me into pre-K. Well, fuck whatever. But <laughs> um, and and then you know I can see at you know a black teacher you know and a bunch of like black girl like black eighth graders coming up says. Mr. So and so, your roots are fucked. Can we fix your shit at lunch? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and wow. like that, and and that, and that, that like that to me, like is something that like I think will like get out. That's an all innocent three, enough situation. I I think all three of those in a vacuum are okay, in the sense of like mm-hmm. I think it's cool of like a teacher live streaming with his kids and like and his doing his lesson plan and like talking about with kids and like you know, I think that is a cool way of engaging with the students. Granted, probably should okay with the parents, but like if you're like the type of teacher where it's like you're running a club and it's after school hours and like you're and like and like you're this you're these kids safe person at the school, I think that's okay. But I think that when you combine all three of these together, I think that's absolute. I think like I think it's a shit store waiting to happen. Yeah. So so here's what I so here's what I say. Here's what I say. When it comes down to using cell phones to communicate with students. I personally believe that there is a certain boundary that must be set in place. Now the group now the group chat thing, the group chat thing that you brought up, mm-hmm. that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I remember I've known I had to do that several times with my overbound students. And then we also have, you know, we also in the age of, you know, technology, we had a Facebook group for our overbound students. And that's how we communicated with our students. But as far as personal cell phones calling us after hours, all sorts of hours, sort of night, no, that that's where I draw the line there. When it comes down to, now, when it comes down to doing hair, and yes, I know I'm bald headed. I don't have a dog in that fight, but we're not going to go there. I've, seen, uh, I, I've, in, I've okay? seen the pictures when you've had hair. Just, you know, I've seen. I know you had yeah. hair in the past. You can speak on it. Just because yes. your head burns when you like when alcohol touches it doesn't mean it always did. Ah! <laughs> okay. So, um, but when it comes down to doing hair, now that all in itself is dodgy to me. And I and here's why. Here's definitely why dodgy. Here's why I say won't this. dispute that. When it comes, if it's a teacher to a student, it definitely depends on the context. I would I would say if you're we're talking about a black woman teaching black girls how to braid hairs, um, there are dummies for that. There are literally hair dummies for that purpose where you don't. Ha- I know it probably would make more sense to have a human, uh, a human head to work with, but. If they're all peers, they all can do each other's hair, and that's fine. My problem is, this is a grown man with a whole bunch of girls around him braiding his hair. That just feels creepy to me. It might just be me, but that's also creepy. But granted, but also granted. I, I have I, seen pictures. I look at it from the I way have of seen like pictures. either teachers can't, like either that's okay for like I don't believe I, I believe that with certain amounts of context something like that could be okay but like again intimate like t- intimate con- contact like that with with between teacher and student of any gender is generally not super appropriate. Yeah. Like, like if, I remember like, like if it was not my mom or anybody that was a maternal figure with me Anybody touching my hair, I'm I'm aroused. That's that's just how <laughs> girls playing in my hair was a whole thing. Who's to say he is, is, did, is, is that, he didn't feel the same a, way? Is that a big reason why you know 
black people get so upset when white women crack y'all's hair randomly. Look, they do it nah. without permission. They do it without permission. That's a whole nother shit. Can be like, oh. yeah, be like, randomly you just touched by anybody. You it? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm throwing. No, look, I don't like it when people touch my ball head. I was at a club one day. I had my hands full. This girl came out of nowhere and just started dancing in front of me, like, and then started rubbing my hair. I cussed her clean the fuck out. I'm like, if you don't get your ratty ass off hands, of my, I'm about to throw both of these drinks on your fucking face. Get the fuck out of here. Have you ever, ready to go. Have, go have, you ever have you ever considered a plunger for use for somebody to have something to grab onto? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Yo, villain, it's just a fuck with him. One day you do just gotta buy a new plunger and just <laughs> fuck with me. You kidding me? I <sighs> love that shit. That's some content. <laughs> fuck you. See, <laughs> and, and on the last, but on my last part, on my last yeah. part, the on, there are some other things that occurred with him that involved underage students. Um, there was a girl that had made a TikTok about how much she likes emo boys with emo haircuts, and he stitched that with a filter with him having a, a emo haircut. This was a teenager. See, I won't talk Ew. about that. That's fucking weird. I won't you know, say anything. But here's that. the thing. Here's the <laughs> here's the thing. I I think I think all of this shit. Like I said, I maintain that all of this shit could have been explainable within a vacuum. Yeah. And it's my not. my only and my also only he's a creep. My only position is uh, consistency. If the administration walks into any room in any classroom across the country and sees a teacher with a student physically fucking with their hair, whether it's to the student, to the teacher, if every if we're saying that with this guy, it looks weird, especially with this other context that we now, now have. Mm -hmm. Let's just apply the rule. Let's just apply the rule consistently among all people. Because my thing is, this is my biggest pet peeve with everything nowadays, is everything is so middle area, gray. And see, I see this and I'm kind of like, well, he's a male. He's automatically kind of seen as a... Uh, you know, sexual being, and especially since it's in the context of school and pre-pubescent or right around puberty. And men, and, 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 men, and men in positions where they are in charge of taking care of children are already looked at in society in a pretty leery way by default. And, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, there are so many calls for black male teachers to be around and but it's not just for the girls it's mainly for the boys it's mainly yeah. for the boys for mentorship but mm -hmm. then just tell me something though as an eighth grader can you really differentiate knowing that you trust this man you trust this woman this woman play plays in your hair you play in this woman's hair and that's okay but then this guy did it and he's fired now like that that's what i'm saying in the context yeah. of the children that's why I understand why they were giving out, you know, the outpouring of support and shit like that. If it went further, like with the Stitch video, then I'm like, that shit's weird. But I do understand why they were immediately like, Mr. So-and-so, oh my God, I can't believe this happened, da 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 you know? Yeah, but and it also goes into the fact that they're also, you, it is perfectly fine to build the relationship with your students. It is Absolutely. perfectly fine. However, but there needs to be very clear, very present, very succinct boundaries, boundaries. To, where, to where they know that you are a teacher, you are a mentor. I will never, ever be a bestie with any student I will have. See, I disagree Ever. with that. And Evan, you, I don't know if you do, but the amount of teachers that I have had a uh, not like friendship, meaning that I go hang out with them on the weekend, but a actual friendship that I feel like I could come to this person and say anything that I needed to. I feel yeah. like that part of the bond in a I've, mentorship is very important. And I think, and, that, and, I, that's, and, and, I, and that's my favorite mentor. And I think as as like the student grows up, it becomos mm -hmm. less More about mature. the teacher. Yeah. Prime example. 
friend of the show, Jaquan Jones, mm-hmm. still was very close and hung out with and did all this club work and was was part of the uh, um, an, uh, like uh, animal science track at, Con- at, our, at, our, um, at my alma mater, at my, at my alma mater, Conrad School of Science. Um, he still talks to the animal science teacher there. They're friends. He texts with her like not regularly, but like you know, enough like enough like that. Like you know, I and mm-hmm. then I've seen him a few times. We've hung out. I saw him like I'm like, oh, you texting? I'm like, oh, you, I'm like, oh you still talk to her? I'm like, yeah, keep up. Yeah, I'm I'm friends on Facebook with re English teachers, my uh, choral music teacher, uh, my advisor in college. Well, hey, we, oh, yeah. Very quickly, I want to back up. Me and Evan had the ability to text privately to at least one of our shared teacher. Granted, this was outside of a school setting and it was much more heavy on the mentorship aspect of things literally Not, a young I, literally a young men's ensemble of all men and, he, and mm-hmm. our, i was a guy and he and he de- and he definitely helped me like grow in certain aspects uh, it, definitely you <laughs> fuck you damn <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I like. He's not wrong, but still, fuck you. <laughs> I just had to say. No, oh, but uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to create a false equivalency. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. for transparency's sake, I have been on both sides of the issue. I do agree with your, you know, the mm-hmm. l- overview of it, though. I w- I'll say this. Yeah, I'll say this. I'll say this, and. Indy right here, because I've seen so many different teachers use their social media with their students. And most of them are just like, okay, it's innocent, and they're promoting other things. Uh, Because I know there was one teacher that was a rapper. Well, no, there were several teachers that were rappers, but one of them got in trouble because of lyrics. The other one got in trouble because it's some shit and involved students. But if I want to, if I want to if there is one example of a teacher using social media to better connect with their kids and all the different all the different things, there is a there is a Instagram account of a wrestling club where the person who's running the wrestling club is running whole videos of WWE pay per views and AEW pay per views. And it's just showing the kids there. I can't. I can't call their ages. I. I probably gotta go back and look. But they. They're. They're young. They're impressionable, but they're very young wrestling fans. But you can actually see their reactions and everything. And you just have to wonder, like, okay, so what protocol did you have to go through to make this happen? And it. And it's got so big that Willow Nightingale, who is the current TBS champion in AEW, I think, but she stopped by. And visited the students herself. That, in my opinion, is the best way to use. If you're going to involve students in social media in any different way, that's the best way to do it. Put it in a way where it's more focused on the students. You know, the students well, alone. The only thing I'm going to contribute to this at this point is, is that I choose the bear. I choose the bear as well. Good show. No, I hey, I got I didn't get my topic. Fuck you. What topic? <laughs> that t- is y'all here got put, banned off Twitch. Yeah, what was that about? Yeah, what is that about? Yeah, so apparently, um, so for those who, so I have y'all know about the Hall of Shame, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I remember. Yep. 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 I uh. This guy Ryan T- underscore TTVO. I, I'm 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 saying it just for context of the story. I'm just I'm letting everybody listen. Listening. Do, do not, not go after him. Do not. I am more. He did salty piss baby shit. He is a salty piss baby. I expect him to do salty piss baby shit. What I didn't expect was Twitch to take his report on me. A report, by the way, of reporting me as a bot or automated account. Wow. 
you can't like send them a physical video and be like, "Hi, I'm not a fucking bot, idiots." I I said my appeal. I name dropped him in the appeal and said, "Hey, this is like what happened." And yeah, that's that's. So, that's, so Evan, yeah. Can I talk to you I seriously about that. something? Go for it. I think this. Go back to that page very quickly. Uh -huh. I think this opens you up. Does it? It does. Okay. And I understand the reason for it. I'm not criticizing you at all. I totally would do the same shit. My thing is, it's going to be way easier and reflect better on you if you just block these fucking people. Yeah. If you, met, if you know how to find their, you know, account stuff on all of those different platforms, and I see that you included all their links, block them. Because this shit is just going to continuously happen. Yeah, nah, you right, you right. But trust uh, me, bro, I'm with you. I agree with this sentiment. It just isn't going to work in the digital space. I just, like, I don't want to stream on kick. I'm not even saying that. No, 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 I'm not even saying well, that. I don't I'm saying... No, no, you want to know why I have to stream on kick? Because I don't oh, watch... Oh, because I've, you're currently... I have a, I have a watch box. I have a watch box. Mm, wow. This is my website. This is the hub. This is where you can come and watch all my shit. You can get all the chat commands. You can look at crowd control and like fuck with my stream. You have, you can, you know, you have your, like you can donate, you know, specific purchases like this. And I'll give the, if you spend $3, I'll give the cat, one of the cats a treat. And if you spend $10, I'll do a tapeworm shot. But other shit like that. So how long until you possibly days. go back to hey, Twitch? Hey, listen, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I, I. You have to the, wait for the appeal. If it happens, mm -hmm. I, like I want to be clear. I have I stream on average th probably thirty hours a month on Twitch over the course of over the spread out over the course of three and a half years. Now, there are months where I didn't stream at all, but I made up for that with the times that I did. I've but streamed... also, there's millions of con inconsistent fucking streamers who only stream once a year, and they're not considered mm -hmm. a fucking bot. So, right. Like... right. It, it, and I hit the payment threshold for them repeatedly. Yeah, I've gotten cool. people to pay me money before they lowered the threshold because not enough people were getting their payouts. I was in the top 10% of Twitch. And you don't get any customer support, any contact, anything like that? I get to like submit that? one appeal. Oh, fuck me, man. One this appeal, is... and I lost the $30 that, was out, that I was going to use for groceries this month from Twitch. See, this is the thing about fucking uh, digital creatorship that I never understood. And this is the reason why Rooster Teeth is, it, although they fucking they got destroyed, it was a great fucking business model. I don't know what to tell you, man, because that's so shitty. If I was you, I'd find this guy. But that's me. <laughs> the, I'm not even going. I'm not even going to hold you. I probably would have been looking to. <laughs> if y'all want to fucking help my brother money. out, you fuck with my money. You fuck literally because me and Meadow like need that money for groceries this month and shit. So it's like yeah. if y'all want to help a brother out, I need to get to 75 followers on Twitch. So I can fucking unlock the ability to become an affiliate and earn subscriptions and shit. So, pe oh wow, you were just and you are that close. Well, no, this was this here was at like zero. I did an eight-hour stream today playing Stardew Valley because nice. that's. It, I love that fucking game. It's so good, but yeah, no, it's it's frustrating, you know. But and it's like it, and 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 it hurts also in another way too because like. Look at this shit. I got 10,000, you know, subs on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I got more sub like I've like I've got more I have for all of my friends that started doing this, we all started doing this around the same time. All of the associates I've picked up, you know, I am larger on YouTube than basically everybody. And it's so frustrating because like I'm the the thing that fucks me with this is that I'm constantly fighting with the fucking algorithm to the mm -hmm. level of just like 
if I can get to 3,000 watch hours, I can, like, have channel memberships and throw my merch store underneath my videos and, and be able to, like, get a better stream of income, let alone getting to 4,000, you know, watch hours and, you know, being able to, like, make money off of ad revenue. But, like... But also, the shittiest fucking part is they take away part of the demographic that counts towards that because shorts don't contribute, right? They t Shorts contribute... Now. on a separate okay. on a separate line you oh, need yeah you need three million views on shorts in 90 days or whoa four so thousand public watch hours over the course of a year that's such a difference <laughs> that is a difference you said four thousand versus three million <laughs> you I need to start putting my 25 seconds of villainous up you yeah like if you post it on youtube the way you post it on tiktok you probably would reach it villainous yeah you i'm like three million especially for someone like you who has fifty thousand followers on tiktok you'd hit it i think i might have to go balls to the wall now now granted to get Full partnership, you got to hit ten mil. Yeah, that's hard. But but here's the thing: you could start doing memberships, villainous. You could open up a merch store and start having your shit going underneath videos and stuff. You could start live streaming on YouTube. YouTube has the collaborative feature. Me and Brian have done it. You just send a motherfucker a link, they click it, their YouTube app opens, and voila, you're streaming together on your stream. It's yep. actually pretty cool. I like it. I actually want to do more mobile streams like that, but me and Brian have such a time difference. Yeah. I don't know. It just it it's it 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 it, it remains frustrating to a level. Um, what are you doing? Now. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I know this has turned into the Evan Haggard bitch hour, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it though. I honestly yeah. get it though. Like it's not unfair. Like you get it's it with completely TikTok. unfair. T TikTok doesn't fuck me anywhere near as much as it does you. Yeah, and it's completely unfair that one person's one person's false report has cost you this much. Three years of my life, and 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 I've built like I built a good chunk of like my streaming infrastructure into Twitch. And it's just, and it's, there's nothing really to replace it. I, it, it, and it sucks. It's just really fucking unfortunate. And there's nothing really I can do about it otherwise. As shitty as the situation is, do your best to try and think about the fact that this is not you with hundreds of thousands of subscribers or millions of subscribers, yeah, or I you're think... leaving thousands of dollars on the table. Like, I thankfully, they're... I think Pokemon getting like banned for like a week or some shit. It was Pokemon or was it Amber? It was one of one of the lady streamers got banned for like two yep. months. And they Pokemon. lost and she lost like everything. Yep. So uh, trust me, I'm with you about how shitty it is. I'm not trying to do the grass is greener on the other side bullshit. I'm just trying to be like, hey, you've been through worse. <laughs> yeah. Honest to God. You'll get though, through this too. If anybody wants to help a brother out, please consider. Uh, this, why didn't the fucking CPA? No, it, it it's doing. It's being a. It's being weird. Of course it is. Uh, if anybody wants to help a brother out, please consider uh, uh, dropping a tip at uh, hmmedia.gg slash dip. You know, God knows I need the money, <laughs> and uh, uh, it, you get perks in the Discord. And oh, actually. This is something I actually want to talk to you guys about, and this is me just again self-stroking, but I, I'm really proud of this, and I think it's really cool. This is oh, the, uh, stroke. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. I, I've done some at everyone's, but I'm, I apologize. Have you guys seen the bounty board I set up in my Discord? Is that not the thing we were just talking? Yeah, about? Yeah, I did. I did. Was it the one that you were talking about the two hour the two hour uh, essay? Uh huh. That was one of them. I was thinking about that. Well, I viewed... This is the... 
himedia.gg leaderboard. You the, the little number with a, with a crown next to it is your crown is your crown count. You get crowns by doing a multitude of different things, such mm -hmm. as sorry, I'm just sorry for the. Uh, there we go. Uh, such as um. Uh, for example, let me see if I can uh, pull up. Window display Discord share. There we go. Such as mm -hmm. um, I Sutlin. So, you guys aren't going to see the viewers, but I'll just read them off for people so you can see. I I, I had a, there. I'm in another Discord called the Hub, right? And the guy who runs it run is like a big Terraria mod or whatever. Um, and he has a bounty board, and he has things like beat Dead Cells boss soul level five. And if you do it, you get a unique roll. Cool. Um, and I was like, that's such a cool core concept. How can I, uh, ext how can I take that and do something more with it? You know? So what I was, uh, kind of thinking, why is it doing this thing? So what I was thinking was, is, is that let me take the Winston Cup, Winston Cup being the, um, tournament structure we do here for mainly Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm slowly going to be doing a Smash, other games, I'm going to be doing a Smash tournament at some point soon, uh, things of that nature, you know, and I say, what if I converted points to something called crowns? And the crowns are basically your new point system in this bounty board. So, for example, I have daily challenges, uh, which, you know, like touch grass. And it has required, it's a daily talent. You can do this every day. You you earn the a title. You, there, if you see, like, there's little titles and stuff you can earn based on the things you complete. And uh, you also earn a single crown. And there's Rex for it. You post a picture of you touching grass. Must move more than 10 feet from your bed. Must be outside. Must be outside for at least 10 minutes so you get vitamin D. Parentheses not applicable if weather is bad. Must drink water. I have a separate one called Drink Water. You get the title Hydrated, a single crown. And granted, this one is less. I don't need a picture or validation or anything. It's honor system, but whatever. But it's like, you know, if you, you know, gonna go through the effort of like wanting to get that crown, you might as well just do it. And like these crowns provide basically nothing except bragging rights, right? But I thought mm -hmm. it'd be a fun, interesting community way for people to like sort of connect and, and not only just do daily things that take care of themselves, but also get on board with their uh you know content creation stuff such as post a video essay vote post a video essay of at least two hours in length cannot be a live stream cannot be a stream vod must be a minimum two hours in length must be posted to youtube must be an edited video must be from a channel you own that you posted yourself that just prevents people from posting a fucking sean video or a fucking big joel video or something and then must mm -hmm. be submitted in the form of a youtube link and then you get 15 crowns in the title video essayist, mm. you know, and it's just, it's, it's brag, it's, it's, it's just bragging rights. And it's a way to, you know, commit, get people to want to do something. I have things for video games. I have community challenges, which are challenges that people can do repeatedly or, or you can only do once, but anybody can do like get King of Games rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Become Elden Lord in Elden Ring. Post but you, you requirements, no mods, and, and you post a picture of the achievement when acquired. You know, you get the title Elden Lord. If you see, I have the title Elden Lord, because I beat Elden Ring mm -hmm. 42 times. Um... <laughs> Kai Sinat was struggling. Uh, 74! He was, he was. But you know what? He did fuck, that shit though. Fuck Kai Sinat, but I I will give credit as a Souls player. He did that shit with no summons, and he did that shit. So you know what? I'll give credit where credit is due. He beat Melania without like without the I'll 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 give him that. You know, like sixteen hundred deaths, something like that. He, he is a fuckhead. Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't he go did to that. him for advice. <laughs> but he did that shit, and I'll get and I'll give him that respect. Um, Villainous. I wanted to ask, are you an mm -hmm. anime man? Yes. I am. Okay. Are he you cosplays all era? the fucking time. Gosh. Am I watching what now? Are you watching My Hero? I stopped watching My Hero 
Um, I I like this season. I gotta be real. I like how it started off. I like how it's going. It's a pretty solid solid start so far. And the audio, the animation quality has definitely stepped up. Word. I'm I'm currently watching that um that series on Netflix that's based off of the Brothers Grimm. I know what you're talking about. How is that? Yeah. It's it's pretty decent. Like it, as for somebody who was very interested in grim fairy tales mm -hmm. and growing up and studying it in college for one of my English classes, it, it it's a very creative way to retell these classic stories. Like I just um, finished uh, the Shoemaker and the Elf. Um, the way they had it set up was like very very um, creative, very different it wasn't like it's they're not really telling the story they're telling like a different version of the story with like different uh scenarios but it's still in the same vein of these are the elves and they are making the shoes for the elf for the shoemaker and he doesn't know how they're being made is it horror centric or is it like more action it's it's more drama anything okay. i know that there are some there are some um uh, episodes that are very action centered um but if you want if you're talking about uh the horror centric ones uh junji ito has a whole series called maniac which is fucking br i was watching that with my son and <laughs> we were both screaming why um, would you put on a junji Jinji Ito thing for your how old eight year old son? That's He's great. nine. I That's rest nine. my case. I will say no, but this is the Just same. Just show up Uzumaki at this fucking point. God damn! No, legitimately. Look, don't Let him read tempt it. me. Don't Let him read it. Me. He might love it. You never know. You right? But he's he's always he's also this into whole Five Nights was Freddy. made for me. He's into Poppy's Playtime. Um. <laughs> So yeah, that, he, you know he, what? That makes sense. The mascot, the mascot horror shit with all the kids and stuff like that. That tracks. Yeah. That was so, a big so jump. perfect for Momo. Ten out of ten. Big jump. <laughs> so and and also season two of Blood of Zeus is is out now. So uh -huh. so I know what I'm doing. Have you started? Have you, you started Kaiju a, number eight? Brian knows that I'm not a big anime guy at, at this point. This is why I'm not asking you a single question. <laughs> Oh, two. So oh. What was the question? Sorry. Uh, Kaiju number eight. Uh, uh I've never heard of that. If you like, did you like Attack on Titan? For the most part, yeah. It's kind of like the same premise, but they, it's not nearly as dark and dreary and shit like that. Like the overtones are pretty fun and casual, but there is like that. But does hey, it have can a die. Japanese <laughs> war crime apology? No, it doesn't focus on that. Actually, uh, Attack on Titan is more so Israel and Palestine. <laughs> it I really it, is. Yeah, is that's it? what it's meant. That's yeah, what it's meant to be. It is. It, it, the problem is, is, is that it's like framed in such a way that it's like the Jews are like oppressed, but they deserve to be oppressed because they. It's just. It's just. Ugh. No, no, no. Man. Attack on Titan what, does. Uh, real quick, Attack on Titan does discrimination the right way, I would say, because it shows you, like, regardless of your reaction to it, whether you're the oppressor or the oppressed, killing indiscriminately is the wrong fucking answer. Thankfully, and if we really want, if we really want to talk about animes with war crimes, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I mean, yes, the shit they did with that dog and bitch, crazy. Uh, yeah. I, I, or I also, I, I mean, I'm, I'm also thinking about Ish. Favorite. Yeah. But I, but I, I but I would, but I would also say that like I think there's a difference between the the core subject matter talking about war crimes and stuff and then painting it like it was a good thing. Right. Cuz like I will say that like the the Marleyan versus Eldian like kind of dichotomy and 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 Attack on Titan gives me kind of sketch vibes. Well, I would or I, I would just say that the way that they end that conflict, everybody, and I mean everyone, Marlians everyone. and Eldians are all feeling the effects of the war. 
It's not like one party walks away completely scot free and the other one doesn't. Like, fair enough. Yeah. I don't want to go into spoilers, but like, most of the world is not even on the fucking planet anymore. It's crazy. That much of the rumbling happened in that short amount of time? Evan, yep. when we're off the stream, I'll go into full detail as much as you want me to. <laughs> I just don't want to spoil shit that literally came out in January. Fair enough. Uh, one thing I will say is, is um, I, I'm not a big anime manga guy anymore. I've just kind of like lost the alert with it because there's very few um, IPs that just don't have like the awful tropes I dislike. And, you know, they all kind of are kind of like, there's just, there's not, I, I, I like gems and there aren't, and like, I have to have people recommend me the gems because there's just so much slop. I'm not 13 anymore mm -hmm. with complete access to Netflix and yeah, and, no, and no other hobbies. So it's just, ah. I will say I mean, that so. I did finish Fire Force in, in manga form recently. I've heard that's a really good anime. It is started. so good. It the, is so good. The manga, ma the, like, the, the story of Fire Force will make you feel things. And the resolution of it, it, it is just spoilers. It is the prequel to Soul Eater. Okay. Again, another anime I haven't investigated. I'll be, um, but it's not worth doing because of the, so they, it's one of those uh, anime that changed a lot of things from the manga and did not get a re-adaptation like something like Fruits Basket. So Like fucking mm -hmm. Berserk. Like goddamn Berserk. Fucking Berserk. Yeah. Why can't they make a good Berserk? I gotta be honest, I kind of I kind of gave up on the Berserk manga after the booty rape scene. I mean, there's a few of those. The first one. <laughs> you oh, mean the first page <laughs> when he was a kid? Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. It's that, it's still that, fucked Griffith. That one hit a little too close to home. Yeah, I see. That's the thing. But like, Invincible is a perfect example of why fucking Berserk can be made. It's still fuck Griffith. Oh, all the way. Fuck that motherfucker all the way. I, I will I will forever will be I will forever be so, uh show sucker did nothing wrong, but it's fuck Griff Griffith. Yo, the people who say Griffith did nothing wrong need to be institutionalized. <laughs> no, no, no. That that's the chair. That's not only the chair, hit him with super soakers while the thing is going on. Just <laughs> Because there's no, yeah. there's no, there is no excuse. Yeah, that's no wild. reasoning. Bill two guys, say, Bill, two Bill guys is... captured, saved by his best friend, turned around and did the most heinous fucking acts you could imagine just for power. Villainous could you imagine? Villas got the Villas got the type of energy for Griffith to pop him in the back of the head twice while singing, and that's why you got nerfed for nothing. That it... <laughs> And it's right here. It's like... <laughs> it says, "Stay strapped. Stay strapped." Be yeah, d yeah. Before, before I, before me and Villainous connected uh, for the first time, I was a fan. I watched his shit, so I know. So I got all the little, little, little drops and shit for him. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the rundown. Uh, solid hour. Lot, lot better than like. Three and a half hours into one o'clock in the morning. Look, that oh was that was so much fun that I was exhausted. Yo, on a that... school night? Oh on a work day. I had to be uh I had to be in front of these motherfuckers to be cheery and like Y'all stick like, around oh. for a little bit longer after we cut the recording, but let's let me say goodbye, sure. ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate you. Again, if you want to support the show, please consider doing so. At himedia.gg slash tip, I am very poor. And a dollar a month is a boon to my mental health. It'll also get you perks like, you know, exclusive and early access videos on the on in the Discord. Guaranteed spots in the Winston Cup. Um, mm -hmm. Raffle tickets when I bring that back. Among other things. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate all of y'all. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna go follow uh, Brian, you can find him on Instagram at uh, at at um, no dot two underscore Brian, and uh, you can find Villainous on TikTok at uh, Villainous uh, at the Villainous Network. What is your YouTube again? Off the top of my, off the top of your head, 
The Villainous Network. The Villainous so, Network on YouTube. So it's the V L N S Network. Yes, All one word. Yeah. Go and if follow. you want, and if you want to, and if you want to hear the music, hear the beats, buy beats from me. It's V L N S underscore beats. That's on Instagram. Oh, d- definitely. Uh, go ch- check him out. Go and uh, if you aren't already subscribed to HI Media TV, please consider doing so. Uh, seeing that number makes the dopamine go burr. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next week. Say bye, y'all. Bye.